there are two sides, two physics in the, in the modeling of the heart. One is the electrical and the other is the mechanical. I'm starting here with an electrical model. Cardiac electrophysiology deals with the mechanism, function, and performance of the electrical activities of the heart. At the 2013 Society for Industrial and Applied Mathematics Conference on Computational Science and Engineering, invited lecturer Natalia Trianova explained how the latest advances in modeling these heart functions are helping electrophysiologists treat heart conditions including abnormal heart rhythms known as arrhythmias. Simulating cardiac electrophysiological function is actually very important because we, you can predict um, how arrhythmias occur, where they are located, and how to terminate it. So that's what we want to do. Arrhythmias are disturbance in heart rhythm, and they're little, particularly the ones in the lower chambers, the ventricles. And the mechanisms are not very well understood. The treatment is not very well executed right now, and we want to figure out a more efficient methods, a more personalized methods of treating patients. So there has never been a platform in which you can evaluate what is the drug interaction so you can predict whether they are pro-arrhythmic or anti-arrhythmic. We are so, conducting simulations that are patient-specific. We are taking MRI images of a patient heart and we are generating a um, model of the heart in which we are representing all the possible arrhythmias that can occur in that heart. And then we are trying to predict whether this patient will have an arrhythmia, basically stratifying for risk, and we also, in case these patients have an arrhythmia, we also want to tell the doctor what would be the most appropriate therapy for this specific patient heart. The ability to simulate conditions and treatment outcomes in the computer has several patient benefits. The biggest advantage is it's a non-invasive. It's a simulation, it's not something that's done in the patient heart with a roving electrode to find where is the arrhythmia organizing center so we can terminate. They actually will lead to much less risk for the patient, much less complication because our predictions, we expect that to be much more precise of where, how the arrhythmia should be terminated. Accurately simulating cardiac electrophysiological function is one of the most striking examples of a successful integrative multi-scale modeling approach applied to a living system directly relevant to human disease. I think we are the threshold of a new era in that. There has never been application of computer simulations in patient care, particularly in the heart, that I'm aware of. And we are thinking that right now we are able to you know, produce automobiles using finite element models predicting shape and how, would be the, um, how they would behave in a wind tunnel. tunnel. Instead of putting the car in the wind tunnel, why shouldn't we be able to predict how to treat best the patient when you have a personalized approach? To me, that's one of these uh, very important pushes towards personalization. People normally think, oh, it's genetics, it's all the gene therapy, that's where we want to go. We are taking also additional approach. While we, of course, the genetic information is very important, if there is a structural disease, we should be able to represent that from the images and predict how to take that into account to generate the best treatment option for this patient.